Okay, boys and girls, last week we read the story called Leaf Catches the Wind, and you met some mechanical engineers in the story. Who can tell me who were some of the mechanical engineers in the story? Benjamin? His mom and him, he made like um, a machine that could work in the water to make bubbles for the fish to breathe. Mm, you're right. And was there was one more mechanical engineer. Do you remember who it was? Ben? Uh, his cousin. That's right. What machines, you, what machines did mom work on? Anybody remember what kind of machines mom worked on? Uh, a windmill. A windmill and a wind. Uh, and a wind turbine. And a wind turbine. Ben also told us that Dana and Leif worked on um, wind-powered paddles, right? Good. What do you think, I'm wondering, what do you think, now that you know what their jobs were and what they did for a job, what do you think a mechanical engineers do? Uh, they make stuff that could help people's life better. You're right. They work like on elevators and, uh, like, wheelchairs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So what would we call an elevator or a wheelchair or other kinds of things? What would we call those things? Mechanical engineers use, make. What do they make? They just design machines. They de design machines or parts of machines to figure out ways to make machines work faster and better. And we say that faster word to be, that word is, means to be efficient, works quicker. And also they make it to make sure that the machines are safer and things that run smoothly. So they have a big job. They have a very important job. What exactly is a machine? Hmm, Mary. It's like electricity and so then they can use it to do stuff like if you had if somebody was in a wheelchair and they wanted to get to a second floor but there was only stairs, they'd use some, an elevator machine to get in and then go up. Okay, so you're saying the elevator is a machine or an object that does what? Help. That uses, you said electricity, could be some kind of, an, some kind of energy to do what? To help people. To f figure out something, to finish something, to get somebody someplace, to finish a task or do a job. Good. Well, I'm going to show you a, a, a machine that I have right down here. This is a machine. Hmm. Anybody know what it's called? Benjamin? I know what it's used for. What is it used for? It's used for, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, like, um, when you bake a cake, you need to stir it. You could put it in, and you could stir that, and then it mixes it for you. What is the name of this machine? Egg beater. An egg beater. You're right. What energy or action do we use to move it? What energy do I use to? I do. I turn the handle. And what will happen? What action or what reaction will happen if I turn my handle? What's the reaction after I turn my handle, Daniel? Like this stirring part helps it like stir uh, and it's like mixes it. It does. It mixes it up. It, it turns the beaters, doesn't it? Yeah. The handle turns the gears and it turns the beaters. That's right. So, what are some of the advantages? What are the, some of the good reasons why this would be a good machine to have? What are you thinking? I want you to turn to the person right next to you and tell them what I think that some of the reasons that the good things of having a machine like this. You like wouldn't have to use a spoon to keep turning it and turning it and turning it and turning it. Mm -hmm. You could just use that and hold it and, and do that so it, so the bot and so the bottom will just keep turning and plus there are two of those so it actually makes it easier because so you don't have to use two spoons. You're right. You know what you just told me that this mach the advantages are to make this machine work efficiently. It's quicker and it's also easier to mix something up. You're absolutely right. How do you think this might be a bad choice or a disadvantage for taking and using a machine like this? Turn to the person next to you and tell them. It costs money. Do you have an idea why this might be a dis there might be a disadvantage about using this kind of machine? Things could get stuck in it, and if you keep using it over and over again, it 
you'll never be able to use it again if you get it all stuck in there. So it does have a couple of disadvantages. Even though that might make my job a little easier and more efficient, it might have some disadvantages. You have to be thinking about whether the machine act, what's the, good, what's the good things and what's the bad things about the machines. I'm going to fill out this one that looks just like one that you're going to have at your table. And where do you act on this machine? Where did I put some action on my machine? Where did I put the action on my machine to make it work? The handle. The handle, the turning handle, right? Yeah. So where you put the action, I'm going to circle it in red. And that's right here. That's where I'm putting my force. That's where I'm putting my force. See that? That's where I put the force in order for to make my beaters work. So what was the reaction you said, Dan? Yeah, like that little circle moved, and that just made those two stirs move too. So I'm going to show you where the action or the reaction caused from my, um, my energy. I'm going to circle that in blue. So this caused this, right? Okay. I have some machines for you. You are going to actually have a paper that looks very much like my paper at your tables, and you're going to have a machine. You're going to look at it, and you're going to fill in what's the purpose of this machine. You're going to fill in the same kind of information. You're also going to be thinking about the, the force or the act that you use to make your machine work. And what happens when you do put that force on your machine? Okay, Deanne, what is the machine that you have? I have a can opener. Okay, and what's the purpose of the machine? It opens cans. It will open cans. Where do you act on that machine to make that work? You hold, there's these two little circles that hold on to each other. Mm -hmm. Then when I twist this, it moves. Mm -hmm. And then you can just put on the can, then just twist this part around it until it's off. But you have to be careful of these. These could hurt you. So where's the action that you're putting onto this machine? Where's the action? This handle right here? Yeah. This handle, and you're turning the handle. And then what is what will happen because you're turning that handle? The, this one is like locked into this one, so when I move it, it just, it just both moves. It'll move my can around? Yeah. And what will happen to my can? It'll be open. It will be open. Laura, what would some of the disadvantages of having a machine like this? Um, are you you're cranking, the knobs could come open. Okay. So I could be cranking. What, what, what will happen if I keep cranking and it gets tighter and tighter? It gets harder. It gets harder. Sometimes it's hard to turn the crank, isn't it? So, okay. So what? What is this? It's a mechanical pencil. Okay. Would you think of this as a machine? Yeah. You do. You think it's a machine. Why do you think it's a machine? Because you get to use this and you go. Uh, first you click it, then it looks like a pen, but it really isn't. Then you click it again, and then pencil dips start coming out and then you could write with it. Okay, so what we have, what we just talked about is a machine that is got some force and it causes a reaction or an action, okay? Yeah. So what so is you just press on that and then it just the pencil tip just comes out. Okay. So you have something else to say about the pencil? Okay. It can run out of blood easily okay. because it can break. It does. It kinda of does break a lot, doesn't it? Breaks a lot easier. So where would you put that? Would you put that under the advantages or the disadvantages? Of having a mechanical pencil. Yeah, because what why do you think? If I push if I put a little force on my pencil and I the action that comes out, the re, the reaction that comes out is the the lead, right? Mm -hmm. What um, is different about the lead in this pencil and the lead in that pencil? This pencil can get sharpened and you don't have to buy that much of them. Mm -hmm. And um this one, it just runs out of blood easily. Okay, and you also said something about it breaks you pretty yeah. easy too. So you're talking about cost too. You think this mm -hmm. is more this is more expensive than having these. Mm -hmm. So those would be great disadvantages. You should write those down on your report. My machine is a glue stick. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of a glue stick? It glues papers and other things together. Okay. And can you show us the part that is? I'll hold your paper. Can you show us the part that you act on? 
Um, you act on the spot. Which, what does that do when you It act pulls on? this up. Mm -hmm. So if you run out of that pot, then you can just pull that up. And get some more? Yeah. Okay. So the reaction is, every time I turn it, what will happen? It pulls up. Pulls up what? The glue. Mm -hmm. And it'll give me? And it will give me more glue. Okay, it'll give me more glue. So what are some of the advantages of having a glue stick? It's not messy. Mm -hmm. It's light. It's easy to carry. Okay, and what are some of the disadvantages of having a glue stick? It runs out. If the glue stick is open too much, then you can't. Uh, and you put the cap on, you can't open it. Mm -hmm. And well, if you put it up, then you can't put it back down. Sometimes you can't put it down. You're right. Good job. So what have you learned about machines? Are you surprised at what machines are? Some of, some of those things that you use today were machines? Yeah. Melanie, what did you learn about machines today? Um, they can be things that you just push a button and they, um, and you, um, and they just start doing something. Okay, so you can just use some kind of a force, right? Mm -hmm. And it will change something. Mm -hmm. And what is the reason why we have machines? Why do engineers create machines? Because it can make life easier. Make life easier and do things quicker mm -hmm. and make life easier. Life better. Life, life better. Awesome. Good job. In lesson two, um, the main points are for children to understand what a machine is. And that machine has in it moving parts because their understanding of a machine is a big jet or an or a, a engine in a car, um, something that's big, a uh, factory. Um, they don't really necessarily understand that a machine can be something small and something that they use every day. Um, and the second thing is uh, it's an introduction to what a mechanical engineer is. Um, thinking about prospective jobs and engineers in that classroom. I think um, some of the tips that I have are to gather the materials, get, gather what you have. Um, using things that are more um, available in the classroom makes it a little easier um, and maybe having lots of them. And the second thing is um, for the younger kids, the pages, making sure that they have a space enough for them to write or to record, um, making sure that the lines are large enough for them. Um, otherwise, it's it's pretty easy to.